Hello and welcome to In The Lab. Now today we have something a little bit different. It's some caterpillars in a jar. See, I told you it was different. Well, let's have a good look at these caterpillars. We've bought these, we're going to look after them until they form chrysalises and then eventually break out into butterflies. Well, they're pretty small at the moment, as you can see. There's five in there. They will grow a lot taller. It is completely sealed as well, this container. They eat the material at the bottom and then eventually little bubbles form on top of the food and that's their poo. Well, they know the difference between poo and food. As you can see, there's a few bubbles there already. But as time goes on, there will be a lot more bubbles and a lot less food and the caterpillars will be huge. So we'll come back in a week or two and see how they've grown. Well, they certainly have got bigger, haven't they? Look at the size of those beasts. Well, the five caterpillars are getting pretty huge, but they've not finished their growth yet. They will get even bigger, and then they'll decide to stop exploring, attach themselves firmly to the roof or the lid, and then they'll make a chrysalis. They've got to get bigger. They've got to eat an awful lot. So they've got enough energy to firstly make that transformation, and then secondly, break out of the chrysalis. If we broke the chrysalis for them, or we saw them wriggling around and we helped to break it, then that wouldn't do the caterpillar or the butterfly any good. It has to break out itself to build its strength up to be strong enough to fly. Now that process won't take place, the flying about and the breaking out won't take place in this container. Let me show you where it will happen. So now we've had a look at the caterpillars, let's take a look at this butterfly cage. Just to remind you, Here's the caterpillars again. Once they've hung from the top here, and it looks like they're preparing to do so, or some of them are, I'm gonna take the top of it, I will take it off, and there won't be caterpillars there anymore, there'll be chrysalises, they'll be inside the little cages, and I'll take them over to our little chrysalis station, and I'll place it into there, and it will just stick at an angle there. Then I'll take the whole thing and put it inside the butterfly cage. Then over time, all of the chrysalises with the caterpillars inside will break open and the caterpillars will climb out. But of course, by then, they'll be butterflies. And they'll just walk around and move around a little bit. They'll be quite happy in this cage for a week or so as they build the strength in their wings. They might start to flit about and hopefully we'll see that. Um, and what we'll do is we'll feed them. So we have here some special nectar solution, sugar for making butterfly nectar. And what we'll do is we will make that solution and put it in here in the bottom, just squirt it around. We might put some dandelions in, some grass in, and probably some slices of orange or lemon. And they'll love all that sugary stuff and they'll love the flowers as well. Once they are ready after a week, we will release them. Now I can also tell you that the caterpillars are going to be called, or the butterflies, they are gonna be called five different things. All of the names on this list come from famous physicists. Now, if you don't know who they are, I might share that in a later video. But for now, let's go back to these lovely little caterpillars and give you a final view of them. They are very active. They're hunting around. They are wondering what to do, sussing out the area, and eventually they will all hang from the ceiling. There's nothing special about the roof of that lid. It's just that they like to hang upside down, and that is the only thing they can hang from. So we'll just watch them for a few more seconds because I think it's quite interesting actually. And there we go. Well, the next thing you're going to see is actually a video from around about four or five years ago. We did this in the past, so I'm gonna show you the grand butterfly release of the last time we did this. Take a look at this. Eventually, we'll be doing it ourselves in a few weeks time. <laughs> now apparently they can climb onto your hand to come out sometimes so miss is trying to see if she can just get them onto her fingers they don't seem keen to go yet they have been living in there for two weeks come on butterfly Oh, you've got <gasps> Miss has got one. She's got one. 
Go on, off you go. Spread your wings and fly. Off you go, you've got space for the first time. Go. <laughs> they might not have enough energy, it might not be warm enough. But they might not know what to do. They've never had a chance to fly properly, have they? So. He's trying, to, he's trying to eat sugar off me. Is that what it is? Do you need a gust of wind? No, no, no. So I put him on this fire over here. Try it, try it. <laughs> Should be okay to blow it gently, not too much. Enjoy. You just like slowly put your hand there to it and like kind of like this one. Oh, we've got one. No, so there's three more in there. Straight to the ground. Put your hand into it and then just like kind of push your hand slowly under it. And it like your hand might get a bit sugary, but it likes sugar, so that might encourage it to go on. Just yeah, try not to jump it. That's it. That's it. That's it. They kind of hook on a little bit. Just go, leave your hand still for a second and let it settle. There you go. There's, a, there's one on the floor and there's one on the flower there, the tulip. That's the scarecrow. Oh, yes, we've got go, one. Do you want to go put it on the daffodil or something? If it's not keen, it's not keen to fly because its wings are closed. Oh, it's done it. It's gone. There it goes. There it goes. I wasn't going to stand on this. Everyone screamed at me like, don't stand on the other one. I thought you were going to do one, Ryan. Well, they, they have to like get warm before they can fly away. So the ones that are there are probably trying to get warm. Yeah. So can I do Ryan? Yeah, well, come along. If you keep, keep your hand there when it's flying, it might land on your hand. And you can do it. That one's a nervous one because it's shaking a little bit. Pick the flower up. Very gently. That's it, that's it, perfect. Brilliant. Nice. Maybe just go put it over there near the... Yes! There we are, it's having a little rest. There we go. Okay. Yes, from, from March you can release them, grow them and release them up to about September. Is he on me? Yeah. You see any birds? Just get them. Metaphorically, get the bird. Nice. Careful that one. Oh god, this is Why do you feel like for like three days and she thought she was gonna have one? I was if I was going I was gonna buy an eat. Off you go. Off you go. Oh it's not keen to fly, look it's closed its wings. It likes your hand. It might like a flower, an actual flower. <laughs> Because they go, they drink the nectar in the flowers, so it might be more keen if it smells it to step onto there. Go on, you like flowers? Yeah, there you go. Well, that was the butterfly release of four or five years ago. Well, we're back to the present. Here are our caterpillars again, and hopefully you'll join us for the whole journey of these caterpillars right the way through to their own release. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you do have any questions about these caterpillars, or indeed about any aspect of science, then do let us know. There's three ways you can send us questions that we'd love to answer. There will be some special question and answer sessions where we answer all of your questions coming very soon to the In The Lab channel. You can put your questions in the burning questions board, which is on the science corridor. You can send them to in the lab at kingswarrington.com or of course you can leave them in the comments to any of our videos. See you next time. Mm -hmm.